Hi, in this video I'm going to explain how to set up our performance-based segmentation tool in the Product Hero platform. Now I will guide you through this process. Once you have logged in in the platform, you start on the dashboard. Go to Advertising. You can see that a strategy already exists. This strategy is created by Product Hero according to our best practices. If you decide you want to do this yourself, you can make changes by clicking on Edit Strategy. You can see two metrics which you can edit. The Product Hero Target ROAS and a Product Hero Number of Clicks. Together, they determine the distribution of products over the four labels. In the following example, I will show you how these two metrics work. The ROAS is on the y-axis. And let's say you set a Product Hero Target ROAS of 200%. This means that products with an actual ROAS that is higher than 200% become a hero or a sidekick and products with an actual ROAS that is lower than 200% will become a zombie or a villain. You set the number of clicks at 15. This means that products that have more than 15 clicks will become a hero or a villain, and products with less than 15 clicks will become a sidekick or a zombie. So, if a product has a higher actual ROAS than the 200% product hero target ROAS, and it has more than the 15 clicks you set, it becomes a hero. Now we understand how the Product Hero Target ROAS and the number of clicks work. Let's go back to the Product Hero platform. The next step is knowing which values you need to use for these metrics. We give an advice for both. You can find this by clicking on the pencil. For example, the one of the Product Hero Target ROAS. We recommend setting a Product Hero Target ROAS that is 25% lower than your actual ROAS, which we get from your Google Ads account. We recommend setting the number of clicks lower than the average number you need to get a conversion. How much lower depends on the way the products are distributed over the four labels. You also have to set the date range. This setting lets you choose your historical performance to segment your products. You can select different date ranges, varying from the last 7 days up to the last 60 days. We usually advise using the last 30 days. Click on Next Step and you go to the Summary page. Here you can see your strategy settings and a budget advice. It shows the, our recommended budget per label, but don't forget that this is an advice. Use your own insights to determine whether you need to allocate more or less budget to each campaign. The last step is to select a custom label if you haven't already done so. Click on Enable in Feed and select an empty custom label. Also click the checkbox and you can save your strategy. Don't forget the difference between your Product Hero Target ROAS and your Google Ads Target ROAS. Your Product Hero Target ROAS determines the distribution of the products over the four labels. This is only in the Product Hero platform. Your Google Ads Target ROAS is, like it says, in Google Ads. This is the goal you set for your campaign. That's it! Thanks for watching and don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to stay up to date on best practices for your shopping ads.